Let's up. Show compilation of the new year. Okay, bye. So begins the roaring twenties. <laughs> Prepare for your demise, a will. You know, the way artists draw themselves is so funny. Like, we all make ourselves look like exhausted gremlins, and then there's fucking Elmer Butch Hartman, who managed to make his self-insert OC look like a complete and total douchebag. Like, look at this. I literally have never seen a man be so self-absorbed. OP, it gets worse. There's an actual character... In the Fairly Odd Parents, that's an actual caricature of Butch Hartman, and voiced by him, named Dr. Rip Studwell. And his defining character trait is being hot. Yo, pretty sure he changed his icon because of this post specifically. Good! Can a man have confidence, Tumblr user Typhlosion? Hell, no! I feel like this is an online equivalent to playing with a Ouija board and the demon fucking answering. Holy shit! Corn farmer update day 800. Corn everywhere. Have you tried eating it? Corn farmer update day 801. Found a new use for corn. What, what were you using the corn for before, Pocket Show? What, 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 what was he using it for? My sister just tried to ask me if I wanted to go to bed, but instead it came out, Do you need to use the sleep? And then she just kind of looked really horrified at herself and whispered, maybe I need to use the sleep. And now JoJo friends looking for a JoJo reference. Oh God, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it, son of a- Ladies and nons, I have a movie idea for you. It's called Cars Reboot, and the style of the movie Cats, and all the cars are just humans walking around naked, but with a metallic sheen, and they have wheels at the end of their limbs. Their faces are human faces, but with car headlights instead of eyes. Seize my own post on my desk. Hey, it's that pink fucker again. Please, please leave. My house is filled with so much pink slime. Oh, shit, free Slurpee. No, don't drink the code. Get the curly straws. No straws. Stop poking me. Anyone else in a mood to pull off a huge heist? Where and when? All right, I don't want to give away too many details on here, but by the end of it, we will all be rich and Woody Allen will be dead. I'll send you word via Carrier Swan when the time is right. You know, I would be happy with Woody Allen's demise, but riches are always welcome, too. Uh, also, please send a carrier pigeon to warn me the swan is coming so I don't mistake it for a goose and freak out. I don't have any spare pigeons available, but I've sent a rat and pigeon costume to warn you of the swan. Godspeed. You son of a bitch! I'm in! You know, I feel sorry for Netflix-era kids. They will never know the high-stakes adrenaline of running to the bathroom, fridge, bedroom in a single ad break with the beckoning call of a sibling screaming, IT'S BACK ON! to send you hurtling over furniture to get back in time. Couldn't you just pause it? Oh. Oh, my sweet summer child. No. Hey, so if you paint your fingertips with clear nail polish, you won't leave fingerprints. Oh, shoot, this is actually really helpful information. Thank you. Helpful for what exactly? Murder? Kind of a given here. Wow, you're dark. Guild is obviously referring to handling devices or screens. This is a great way to not leave prints all over your screen. I was 100% referring to murder, but that that's pretty handy too. All right. I want Terry Crews and Vin Diesel to do a buddy cop movie where they're both secret nerds, but they don't want the other to know. Like Vin Diesel plays D&D &D on weekends and Terry likes to create epic crossover fan art. Somehow they have to work undercover at Comic-Con and for whatever reason, I need Daniel Radcliffe to be the villain. And I also like to add, not a character played by Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe appearing as himself. Wait, no, 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 wait. I want Elijah Wood to play Daniel Radcliffe. Wait, no, this gets better, okay. Elijah Wood plays Daniel Radcliffe. And his evil sidekick is Elijah Wood, <laughs> played by Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> I want this movie so badly now. No Greek god is inherently and wholly good or bad, because they're all flawed and imperfect in some way, with different facets of personality and character to serve as the reflection of society and human nature itself. Oh, except for Zeus. He was straight up an absolute bastard. Yeah, fuck Zeus! No! Do not fuck Zeus! It's too late. Zeus already got him. So my pre -cal teacher got kicked out of the movies once for yelling out diving scores during Titanic because people jumped off the boat. 
<laughs> oh my god! It's fucking hilarious. Guess who just found out the difference between wax paper and parchment paper the hard way? Well, what's the difference? Well, one you can use in the oven safely, and the other you can also use in the oven if the thing you're trying to make happens to be fire. Wow. Today I learned the Han Dynasty was founded by a sheriff who was transporting convicts when several escaped. Knowing the punishment for this was death, he freed the rest and organized many into a rebel band, eventually going on to help overthrow the ruling Qin Dynasty and to install himself as emperor. Talk about rolling with it. Yo, you ever fuck up so badly at your job you decide the only way to make up for it is to overthrow the government? Little did he know, that sheriff went on to inspire the concept of Romance the Three Kingdoms and 200,000 Dynasty Warrior games along with it. Yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that a Rudolph X Santa fanfics exists on AO3. Boy, I read the Dobby X Sorting Hat fic in its entirety. There is no pain left for me to experience. The what? Someone who doesn't watch baseball, please explain this picture. Oh, it's simple. It's nap time. The actual answer is just as funny. <laughs> bees. Just bees. Okay, seriously though, why do wizards celebrate Christmas other than J.K. Rowling is Christian? What reason do literal wizards have to celebrate a muggle god whose miracles are mostly within the limits of what wizards can normally do anyway? I love that the responses on this post basically boil down to, it's fun, muggleborns, and my personal favorite, Jesus was a wizard. Alright, here's a hot take. Gift wrap is dumb! 95% of the time you can just hand someone the thing and accomplish the same task. Society has conditioned us to love wrapping shit up for no reason, probably by the gift wrap industry people. All right, that's good, that's good. Here's a counterpoint. Monkey Instinct says uncovering secret bounty from colorful shell good as fuck. Baby Jesus is a chicken wing. I hate to ask, but please explain. So tender and mild. F it is time to cleanse your mind. With even though it's 2020, I'm still doing these stupid ass cold things. My Tumblr and Reddit. Dogs probably destroy shoes because they see humans put them on before they leave the house. Seth MacFarlane voices at least 31 characters in Family Guy, meaning like. 80% of the show is him talking to himself. Let's not even get started on American Dad or Justin Roiland and Rick and Morty. Just Actors don't get famous for who they are. They get famous for who they pretend to be. Travis. The manufacturer of Stormtrooper armor must make a fortune because of the amount they produce while also being a cheaply made product due to the fact that troopers always die in one shot of a blaster. I mean, the blaster's made out of lasers, so I don't know. I don't know. It kind of makes sense that the target audience for fidget spinners lost interest in them so quickly. <sighs> yeah. If pro is the opposite of con, then the opposite of constitution is prostitution. So, is this shower thought telling me to fuck the government? Is that is that what they're getting at here? I don't wanna. Milk is the only bodily fluid that we are allowed to drink in front of everyone. And yet we're still grossed out by it. So, yeah. As much as we hate the hard skin on our feet, if we covered our whole body, we'd be a lot more durable. Next step in evolution. Hard, scaly feet, humans. Oh god, wait. On a game controller, the start button usually stops the game. Maybe the reason we can't walk into every building on GTA is because the developers accidentally made the doors pull instead of push, and we haven't realized it yet. So they haven't given the characters that ability to pull them open yet. And... Finally... Your bones are wet, and this has been Sorry Not Sorry. My Tumblr and Reddit. Today I learned that from a biological point of view, vegetables don't actually exist. All food items we call vegetables can actually be labeled as a real plant part. Carrots are roots, lettuce is leaf, uh, uh, you, you get the idea. Wait, did people still think vegetable was a category of life and not just a food word? Since I see some folks in the comments still confused over this, vegetable is a purely culinary word. 
Fruit has both a culinary and biological definition. And yes, the culinary definition can sometimes contradict the biological definition. It's also why a tomato is a fruit is technically true, but a tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable, is false. Also, I love this factlet because it also allows me to say this objectively funny phrase, vegetables are a social construct. Oh my god, I'm using that. Hey! What the fuck? Seals are so, so fat, I love it. As a soon-to-be marine biologist, I must agree, they are, and it is amazing. See? One out of one experts agree! Why are colds like, eh, I'm cool. They've taken the bridge in the second hall. We've barred the gates, but cannot hold them for long. The ground shakes. Drums. Drums in the deep. We cannot get out. A shadow lurks in the dark. We cannot get out. <gasps> they are coming. You see, in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1, Phantom Blood 1987, Robert E.O. Speedwagon is attracted to men. A subtle nod to the fact that he is gay. <laughs> I don't know why that was a very did you know moment, but I love it. There's so much fuss over which spouse should change their last name after marriage. Can we all just please act like adults here and go to fantasynamegenerators.com and let the warrior cat name generator decide? Really? Be civil. Yo. You came to the wrong neighborhood, Oni-chan. <laughs> you're playing WoW Classic. <laughs> you know Fable 2 exists, right? Wow, you're playing Fable 2? You do realize Mountain Blades exist, right? You're gonna play Blam Mountain Blade? Why don't you come join me in my Viva Pinata Heaven? Oh, you're gonna Viva Pinata Why don't you come do rocks with me? What the fuck just happened? If you don't watch a series entirely, you are not a true fan. If you do watch a series entirely, you are not a true fan. You're only a true fan if you're powered by electricity, have multiple flat blades, and spin around really fast like <laughs> My favorite type of characters are they are not dumb, but they are a dumbass. Characters with enough intellect and common sense to clearly and easily grasp that something is a bad idea, but with enough chaotic dumbass energy to decide they gotta just go ahead with it anyway, are on point. Um... I just... I just... yeah. Oh, Nikola Tesla's super adorable. He's just wandering around and hiding under the things. Look at squeal. <clears throat> I should probably specify that Nikola Tesla is a cat, and Serbian American inventor Nikola Tesla is not wandering around my house hiding under things because he's dead. I like the implication that if he were not dead, he probably would be wandering around your house hiding under things. Nick, Nikola, what are you, what are you doing under there? You, you gotta work on your electrical stuff. Get out from under there. No, he's licking his lips. He's checking it twice. Five minutes left on his microwave rice. Gotta put some sauce over that shit. It's either vibe or be vibed. The vibing. So in terms of fandoms, I'm the opposite of a gatekeeper. I get into something and I won't stop talking about it until a bunch of people follow me through the gates. So, your Pied Piper. Hey, what do you call a werewolf YouTuber? A like and subscribe. The only way to stop them is to ring that bell! I don't know if y'all Americans in that know this, but in Australia, instead of snow at Christmas, we get these little shiny bugs everywhere, and they're attracted to Christmas lights, and we call them Christmas beetles. And despite being Australian, they don't bite or anything, they just crawl around in your hand, and it's such a good and pure feeling in me. Yeah, despite being Australian. We know what you're thinking, but this does not want to kill you. Dumb dumb idiot here to tell you to love yourself. And why should I listen to you? Because it's 5 a.m. where I live, and I'm willing to hurt anyone at this hour. Now this raises the ultimate question. Did Pucket Show get up early, or is he just going to bed? The horse has been caught at last. Hospital board to vote on letting it back into the hospital. Not certain his presence in hospital was as bad as we thought. And then in a shocking, mind-blowing twist, hospital board revealed to be made entirely of horses. Hmm, Colonel Sanders, the chicken alchemist. The fuck? Ooh, my crystal ball says you're really fucked up this time. Yo, this is rolling one on a divination check. Does anyone else feel like a weird inhibition against starting a new TV show? Like, there are shows I want to watch, but when I think about sitting down to start, it's something in me just goes, no, you can't do that. W what am I waiting for? I feel like I need to prepare. You have to wait. Wait for what? You have to wait. <sighs> I feel that with a lot of shows. Helpful grammar tip. Farther is for physical distance, further is for metaphorical distance, and father is for emotional distance. Who, who hurt you? My father, did you not read the post?
Oh my god, there's a swan up for adoption, you bud? Okay, see you guys later, I'm gonna get myself a swan. I'm a name in a corn. Someone posted this on- Oh, hold up. My Discord? They told me to name a corn. Oh my god. My Discord actually convinced somebody to A, adopt a swan, and B, name a corn. What the fuck? I hate when parents are like, I know you better than you know yourself. Like, no, no you don't. Like, oh, you're an expert on the inner machinations of my psych? Name three of my top ten as extensional dreads. People without ADHD be like, Oh, if I get rid of all my possible distractions, then you'll be forced to focus on the boring task. Fool. You underestimate my power. As long as I have flesh, I have a distraction. Oh, shit, I forgot the ending episode. Sorry, I was looking at something on my phone. Oh, shit, I also have to do, like, the perfectly cut scream. Uh, 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 uh it is... <laughs> With these, what the fuck was that opening? I don't know what's going on anymore. <sighs> Bad Tumblr and Reddit. Is the opposite of yeehaw a no haw or a haw ye? I wonder if all dogs I've met remember me. If your parents had never met, you could have ended up as half of two separate people. There's going to be a generation that is going to laugh at ours for the same reasons ours laugh at me most. Okay, millennial. When you hire a magician for a party, you're basically paying someone to trick you and your pals. We'd probably be all shocked at the amount of gasoline used to move gasoline around. I mean, I guess. Clone troopers aged twice the normal rate, so the Jedi went into battle with an army of 12 year olds. That explains a lot. Also, every person who murdered a clone trooper killed a child. We automatically assume that rich and popular people smell good. What? Kevin McAllister's family would have had to deal with a tarantula lurking somewhere in their house upon the return from their vacation. Oh god. So many superstitions are the product of lazy parenting. Straight up fact. We will always consider ourselves as civilized because we created the definition of civilized. Dogs are a common denominator of any language. Humans don't pick up a scent with a large deep inhale. You actually slow your breathing and concentrate on memory instead. Bruh. And finally. Sure, a lot of people get grossed out when you say your bones are always wet. But let's see what happens when you change it to your bones are always moist. And this has been Sorry Not Sorry by Tumblr and Reddit.